Good morning, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for, for joining us. Um, my name is Brian Lyons, and uh, I'm with Art Document Solutions, and we have a really informative webinar uh, that we're going to be sharing with you today. Um, before we dive into things, uh, I've got a couple of housekeeping items to cover. Uh, we are recording today's webinar, and we're going to distribute that to everyone later this week here. Uh, we've got everyone on mute right now, uh, and we encourage everyone to use the chat window to submit any questions as we go along. We'll try and answer those at the end. Uh, we'll try and get to as many as we can there. Um, so I'd like to thank our panelists here who are spending some time with us today to share their perspectives. Uh, our topic is timely and relevant, as many businesses today have started to shift their approach to accommodate remote work during the pandemic. Uh, so while contractors and engineers and builders are, are still working on site, there is a lot of activity and effort from remote employees that are helping to kind of set those job sites up for success. So with our panelists today, we're going to be discussing digital storefronts, um, how they can make ordering site signage easier, how they can help to make your job site safer and compliant, and how they can bring some consistency uh, uh, to your branded and your printed materials. Um, so uh, let's introduce our guests here. Uh, we have Callie Kennedy. Callie is the office manager at Big D Construction Midwest in St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, she's a project administrator who also manages their marketing needs. And she educates the field and office teams on Big D's operations and systems. Then we have Larry Medina. Larry is manager of digital storefront services here at ARC. He and his team are responsible for setting up and helping maintain the digital storefronts for customers. Um, so we're excited to hear some, some perspectives from these two individuals today. Thank you for, for being with us. Uh, our format today is very casual. It's more of a conversation and discussion. Uh, so we're gonna start by turning over to these folks to understand some of the basics of digital storefronts and, and how these can be leveraged at organizations. Uh, so Larry, I, I'd love to start with you. Uh, Larry, I guess to start with, what is a digital storefront? Well, digital storefront is an online portal for companies to help them and their uh, different um, subsidiaries or franchises or divisions or uh, job sites order signage. And it um, can be anything from business cards to signs on the side of a building and everything in between. It can be inventoried items. It could be um, uh, links to download uh, important information. So pretty much a, an online thing that really helped that organization in any way uh, as a one-stop shop. Got it. And so uh, with that in mind, you kind of listed some of them. What are some of the assets that, that we see uh, commonly in, in digital storefronts? Well, especially in the construction industry, one of the main things is safety. Uh, safety first and so many things. And there's so many ways of, of doing that. And what we do with the safety signs that are commonly seen is we brand them. We brand them with the logo of that company so that your branding is good and people aren't creating the signs themselves. The logos aren't stretched. They're going to conform to your color scheme, your logo to make everything really nice. You look a branded look for that company along with the required signage for safety and or concerns. Mm -hmm. Okay. And one of the things about the branded materials is the personalization. So say there's signs that uh, of course we could have hundreds of signs on a site, but we can also offer the variability of personalizing it with custom, um, cu custom words of, of any sort. So maybe there's a sign that we don't have on the site and you wanna be able to type in whatever you want, whether it's one word or a sentence, keeping with the branding of, and color scheme of that company in the background. It could be business cards, it could be envelopes. So business cards, of course, are very personalized. The site offers a lot of variability for that personalization. Okay, very good. Okay. And the protection banner. So lots of times it's required.
required, you have to have those banners. So you might want to put your company logo on that. So maybe we've had the case where cities don't allow advertising, but you have to have protection banners. So it just so happens that those protection banners might have your logo on them. That's a requirement for safety. And there's nothing they can say about that. So that's a really good thing about um, using protection banners and to your advantage for ad. So very good. You also can use a uh, download uh, printers for the job site trailers or even in the offices, we can have printers that the, the, the users can select for their needs, whether it's large plotters, whether it's smart screens, whether it's a small desk printer, anything of those we can put on the site that um, can be easily ordered. Got it. So it's not just signage. Uh, uh, if I think of like a construction site and a mobile office, um, so this it can be uh, some of those peripherals or equipment as well. Then, absolutely, and, um, and, and you know it, exactly what you just said. Like I said, smart screens, printers of any size. Um, it could even be going to the drones if you need drone services. Got it. Very helpful. Business cards, as we alluded to earlier, personalized, very popular on our sites where we keep the branding there. We can have drop downs for the offices so people don't mess up on putting it in their address. And then we can have the, the optional or required fields that you want on a typical business card. Again, your branding, your format, uh, no matter like if you want your, your phone number with dots, dashes, spaces, brackets, it doesn't matter. We'll format it to no matter how they enter that information it's going to go to your branding of your cards. Got it. So there's those custom fields available. Yes, absolutely. And again, with the equipment and supplies, just like I was mentioning with the printers, you're going to need supplies for those printers, whether it be paper, toners, inks, any of those things that go along with ordering a printer. We can have that on the sites for you also. Very good. And this is, this is kind of a big one, I guess, these, these last two. Yeah, the safety signage, of course, is one of the biggest ones, of course, for construction sites. Um, uh, we find that many of the safety people we've been working with are very generous because they often meet with other companies uh, on a monthly basis. And like I remember back when silica became a mandatory uh, law, federal law, that all sites had to have silica signs. They were very generous in sharing that kind of signage with each other. And we just put different branding of the of the logo or color scheme of that company on there. Then of course, last year, uh, along with the construction, all of our other sites, they all wanted COVID signage. So we have standard COVID signage that we can use that we have or anything that you wanted us to post. We can post anyone's COVID signage and that was a huge thing and probably will continue to be. Yeah, very good, very good. And then this last one, um, inventory items. Uh, this is kind of interesting as well. Uh, this kind of goes right into the, that customization and, and personalized materials. Yeah, even though, you know, Arc Riot is known as, as a print services uh, and internet, everything to do with printing and construction, we can put I items just like you're shopping on any other online portal like Amazon. We can put shirts, coffee mugs, pens, pencils, giveaway items, and we can inventory them so that when they, the inventory starts re reaching a threshold of being low, uh, an email is sent out automatically to the, the company admins and our team. Maybe we can replenish it, we can replace it, or we can definitely keep the inventory. We were very uh, specialized in doing that kind of inventory um, uh, capabilities on the site. Very good, very good. Okay, so uh, we have a kind of a good sense of what a digital storefront is. If, if I was a company or a builder, uh, can you walk us through what's what's the process like to set one of these up? So to set one of these up, usually we have an intro meeting, kind of similar to what we're doing right now. And I'll I'll do a, a, uh, a show some uh, a site to see get some ideas, and then we'll do a consultation and see what kind of categories uh, that they would want. What it will you know, maybe it would be a safety category, a job startup category. Um, additional categories for, for um, administration or what have you, that, that similar to the things we had just discussed earlier. Mm -hmm. 
you know, and then after after doing that consultation, we'll we'll collect the assets, we'll get the, the files emailed to us, our team here, because we have a digital storefront team, and we'll start going through those files, making sure they're print ready, vetting them all out to make sure that they're going to look great, whether it's a little decal, a business card, an ANOP by 11 sign, or large, large banner, uh, or a crane banner. We're going to make sure it's going to look sharp no matter what. So not only are we building the site for these items, we're also vetting out, making sure that the print material is going to look very sharp when printed. Got it. Makes sense. Okay. As for setup and customization, so what we do, we start working on setting up a site with the custom URL for that company. Uh, we are then going to special specify it to the specs that they wanted, the categories that they want, the uh, the color schemes, maybe change some kind of language prompts on there, the materials that they the customer might want, whether it be coroplast, dye bond, MDO, different kinds of materials for the signs to be printed on. Do they what other print options that they want? So we'll set up those customizations along with the print with the delivery options. The, the accounting options very important. We want to make all the accounting. Uh, um, teams very happy with those companies so we get all the information they need that we can provide when billing the jobs. Mm -hmm. Got it. Very good. And um, is, that, is that kind of part of the permissions with, with the accounting team or is that a, a little bit different? Yeah, the permissions are a little bit different. That would be something more along the categories. Say they want to have an admin category that only admins of the company can see or maybe there even are different regions of the country. There might be a Southeast region that they want them to specialize on some items, or it might be a Western division item. Those can be hidden or viewable to everyone. And as for the permissions, we can allow certain people to not see some signage or allow, only, you know, the same in case, let some people only see the signage. So we can set up permissions in that way uh, with the categories of what they can and can't see. Got it. So if there's a certain sign for a specific job site in a ge geographic area, you can maybe make that sign only visible to those who are going to be ordering or, or using it over there uh, at that location. Exactly, exactly. Very good. So, uh, so after it's all set up, then um, what 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 happens from there? So after we're, we do a lot of testing to make sure we can try to break it, us and our team, along with the admins of that company, and then we'll uh, have them do some test orders, uh, get them the process of an order when an order is placed. They get an email right away, letting them know their order is placed. It gives them contact information to get in contact with the production team with a phone number and an email. And uh, we then will go live. We can go live. Um, but what I encourage people to do is not wait till every single thing that you can imagine being on your site to go live. Go live with the most popular items that you can have. And of course, our team can always be adding to that as the site grows within the needs of that company. So, yeah, that's it and then go live. That makes sense. So you'll kind of adapt the site after you're live. And, and uh, if, if a company maybe finds that they need additional signs uh, that they maybe don't have, or I don't know, with, with the pandemic right now, if they need uh, barriers or, or unique signs, those can always get added in later. Exactly. Got it. Very good. Okay, so you know, once once it's built uh, and set up and tested, uh, how does it work? I guess you know what goes on when it's actually time to place an order for signage. So a user will log in. They'll go and, and put the signs that they need in uh, into the cart. Um, they will specify everything they need in there. They might pick a delivery method, and they will also, of course, pick a. Uh, um, where it's gonna be delivered to you. And they can also pick multiple delivery options, um, maybe ordering 10 signs and <laughs> delivering it into 10 different locations easily. They can will then pay with uh, whatever credentials were set up for that site, whether it be accounting codes or a cost center, or it could even be credit card base. And it could be a multitude of those 
cost ways of pain, and it could be different for different users. So different users can see different ways of pain, and they can also see different ways of being delivered. We can customize it like that with the permissions. Very good, okay. Once the uh, order has been placed, like I said, the user will receive an email right away with contact information for the production team. The production team will also receive an email right away that they have received an order. Now, uh, many companies have certain items or some items that need to be approved. We definitely have an approval process. So if an item needs to be approved, the production team will not do anything until they receive the email that that job was approved by the approver of the company. So everything is an e immediate email and uh, that's how the process will be going, similar to your Amazon experience. Okay, very good, that makes sense. Okay, so once they have the approval then, um, and it's time to, uh, to actually produce uh, these, these signs, uh, what happens then? Well, the production team will, there's always gonna be one location kind of as the quarterback of all the orders. And they will make the decisions of, of using our great network uh, in North America as to who's the closest location to help fulfill this job to expedite for not only for time, but for costs and, and everything. So we take care of all that in the back end. Just like, like I said, I like using the Amazon reference. You order from Amazon, you don't know what warehouse it's going to come from or where in the world. It's the same way the way ARC and Riot work. We Very use good. all of our resources to make sure and that the customer gets it the quickest and most cost efficient way. Right. So for example, uh, as everyone on, on this call probably knows, uh, we have uh, over 150 North American locations. So if a job site in, needs signage in Texas, most likely we're going to have uh, one of our locations in Texas produce those graphics. There's going to be less shipping costs uh, involved. Am, am I thinking about that the right way? That's exactly the way it is. And, and still there's that one point of contact of the email that the, that the user will receive where they can still find out about that job that they submitted no matter where they are. And even if where we sent it to, they, it's all behind the scenes to make it easy. Okay, got it. Very yeah. good. So what, once, so I, I'm assuming once the order is, is prepared, do you want to walk us through these next steps here, Larry? Yeah, sure. So um, like, like I said, when, when the, the people make a, an order, they automatically will get that email with the production team's phone number or any questions or and their email address. We also usually put that on the site. So as they're shopping, if they have any questions before they order, they might maybe question an item to make sure we can do it. We want to make sure that because we know that people have emergencies and that even though we might have a lead time of, of three or four days, they may be needed that afternoon. And that's not going to be impossible to do in some circumstances. So we want them to make sure they can contact us with any um, orders about questions about that. Now, when the order is finished, the, there, everyone sent an email confirmation that that order has shipped. When it's shipped, uh, many times there's going to be a link that they can follow the tracking for that delivery, especially if it's FedEx, UPS, and any a multitude of delivery services. Got it. Very good. And this last one, I think, is kind of interesting. There's there's a single invoice or bill each month. So even if you have, am I thinking of this right? That if there's like ten users or or, or administrators that are ordering signage, uh, there's still, you get one invoice each month. You're not getting 10. Correct. The site is not billing them. The site is still done off site with our service centers, but they will receive that one single invoice. Now they can run a query on our site to track all of the orders and see the, the status of them, see how many were there. So they can kind of use that tool to, for seeing it and it's, pretty much almost exactly accurate as to the cost of the jobs, who ordered the jobs, when they ordered it, the status of that job, if it was delivered, if it was canceled, if it was what state that job is going to run it for a query or report, you might say, for any length of time on um, the orders or the products ordered on that site. Okay. Very good. That's, that's really helpful. So, uh, Let's take a look here then at who uses digital storefronts. Um, uh, 
these are going to be companies that distribute branded materials. Um, these are going to be organizations that might need to approve orders. Larry touched on that a little bit earlier, that maybe your organization has a workflow or a path of approval that you need to follow. And those can be routed uh, to the right people internally uh, to get those orders approved. Um, if you're a company that has multiple purchasers that are buying signage, or maybe you've got multiple locations or job sites that, that need signage, um, a digital storefront is, is going to help. Um, specifically, we see a lot of superintendents and project managers and estimators, uh, safety teams, HR, uh, marketing staff, uh, certainly. And then we see office administrators and managers uh, also using a uh, digital storefront. The, uh, the digital storefronts get used differently depending on what your role or your goal might be. So with that in mind, I'm going to turn our focus over to Callie at Big D Construction. Callie, thank you for joining us. Um, can you tell us a little bit about Big D Construction and, uh, you know, how have you managed your printed assets and site signage in the past? Sure. Thanks for having me. Uh, we are a general contractor in St. Paul, Minnesota, like you said. Um, we're actually a regional office to our headquarters that's located in Salt Lake City. Um, they recently had their 50-year anniversary. Uh, our main focus is multifamily construction and some commercial. We did about $200 million in revenue last year, just to give you an um, idea of our size. Uh, previously, the way that we handled signage, uh, our marketing department, we developed a PDF that had all of our standard signs included. Um, and then when someone needed to order signs, they usually couldn't find the PDF. <laughs> so they would email me, I would send it over to them. Um, they would kind of select which signs they wanted and what quantity. Uh, sometimes they forgot to say what material to use. So I would have to follow up with them. Um, and there was some back and forth. Um, and then I would place the order confirm where they want it shipped, um, make sure that we got all the details. Um, so not very efficient, basically. Yeah, It sounds like some legwork maybe, or some back and forth uh, between you and, and your colleagues there. Um, when, when you transitioned to a digital storefront, what, what was that process like? Sure. The good news is we had done the legwork of having our standardized sign package. So all I had to do was forward that over to ARC. Um, and then we just went through and reviewed what they had built, made a couple tweaks here and there based on materials and such and size of signs. Um, but for the most part, they took it and ran with it. Um, and it helped us get to our goal of like letting the teams have the tools they need to fulfill their needs. Um, so we got that straight to the source. Which is good. So you're able to kind of empower those colleagues that need to order signage. They're able to do it. Uh, Correct. more efficiently. Great. Uh, who at Big D is using your digital storefront? So to start, it was just me. Um, I like to be a user on new systems ahead of everyone else so I can kind of understand it fully um, and make sure everything's working correctly. And then we um, actually activated a second approver. So this allowed us to open it up to all of our teams and they can create their own login. And then once they've placed their order, our field director uh, just reviews it quickly and can approve it. This is mostly to make sure that uh, the signs we have in stock here at the office, we have a couple that maybe weren't used or were in really great shape that we collected and he can help them out and say, oh, we actually have those. You don't need to order new ones, um, but otherwise, he pushes it through. Got it. So you're leveraging that that um, that approval process uh, in some instances. That's great. Um, so what has it been like now for for Big D Construction since since you've added this digital storefront? It's been really efficient for us. Um, like I said, it kind of cuts out the middleman and gives the teams the access they need to take care of those things quickly. Um, it's something one less thing that I need to do, which is <laughs> nice. <laughs> And I found that it's a benefit of it. It can advertise our entire catalog. Um, sometimes teams would only know of certain signs and they weren't sure if we had these or that. And this way they can log in and view all of them. Okay, very good. And, and I guess what's been the impact on other departments then? I think it just lightens everybody else's load. 
um, just gets it back to the source and uh, frees up other people's time to focus on other things. That's great. Very good. Okay. So um, uh, very helpful. Uh, I'm going to stop the share here. I'm going to uh, share a different screen um, and we're going to take uh, just a look at uh, Big D's uh, digital storefront here. Um, so uh, bear with me, everyone. Hopefully everybody can see this, but um, you know, this is what a digital storefront live uh, can look like. And, um, you know, Callie, I'm seeing a lot of signs here branded with, with your logo uh, on them. Um, and so uh, it looks really well organized. Did, did everything go in at once or did you kind of add some of these in over time? Most of them were built from that PDF that we had generated. Um, maybe... We did have a couple custom ones that a PM dreamed up and we thought they would be useful for other projects. I think there's a metal um, sign option for meeting in progress, it might be under other logistics. Okay. Um, but otherwise most of them were plugged in right at the beginning. Yeah, they look great. And you've got all of the materials listed here uh, and it just very, uh, it looks very intuitive. Uh, here. Uh, thank you for, for, for letting us uh, kind of take a peek at, at the storefront. It, this kind of shows everyone uh, what it's like to have all of your assets here in, in, in one space. Sure. Uh, and I do see a question from Frank that I can answer. Um, he asked who at the project site is responsible for ordering the signs, PEMs, PE supers, or the project admin? Um, how much time have they saved? So it really depends on the team. I've seen a lot of the PEs that have registered for the website. Um, so it looks like they might be the main orders for most of the teams. And um, I have had some feedback from them saying that it's really nice to um, just be able to go in there and shop. So um, all around has saved some time. Oh, that's great. Thank you for, for sharing that here. And, and we're trying to keep this webinar short today. We're kind of getting into the home stretch. We're almost ready for some Q&A. Um, so those uh, attendees out there, if you want to start maybe sending some of your questions in a chat box, we'll address those momentarily. Um, and while everyone's doing that, uh, we'll just do a quick recap of, of how a digital storefront can bring some value uh, to organizations. Um, we, we touched on it earlier. It's, it's about making your job site uh, compliant. You're getting the right safety signs to the right spots and to the right job sites. Um, you're adding a lot of consistency to your assets, uh, your marketing teams, uh, your logo, the messaging, the colors, they, the marketing teams out there are always looking to make sure that there's some consistency so that if your company has a job going on in Colorado and they have one going on in you know, Detroit, uh, those are going to look the same no matter what. Um, and then finally, this, this really streamlines the ordering process, especially if you have multiple team members that might be remote and that they're ordering and working on multiple projects. You've got one invoice. You've got just a single platform. There's going to be a lot less waste. You're not really ordering things that, that, that you might already have in stock. Uh, and then you've got a lot more visibility to track your expenses and kind of identify some patterns and optimize uh, your spending. Um, so I think at this point, uh, you know, let's open it up for some questions and, and, and see how many we might be able to get through here. Let's, let's take a look here uh, and I will pull these up. Okay, so let's see here. And I, I, it looks like we have a couple, but they're not coming up for me here. Uh, uh, Kelly, do you have any visibility into some of those Q&A that may have come up? Yep, I can see I have two questions currently. So um, someone anonymous submitted, is there anything else that you wish was on the site? Uh, we balance our um, items, I'll say, with our corporate office. So some of our things are fulfilled by the corporate office already, like business cards and such. Um, we're always looking at how to improve. So as things come up, we may add more to the storefront, but for now it's just our site signage at the moment. Very good, very good. And it looks like another, mm -hmm. it looks like we might have another one here too as well. 
Yeah, it looks like Frank asked, was your company safety director involved with the storefront? Did they weigh in on what sides were needed or had you already developed all those sides? Um, they were involved when it was developed. So back when we created the PDF, um, all departments really weighed in on what was required. Um, so they did that at that time. And Cass is part of his job. He's our field director who's doing the approvals. Um, he also is part safety director. So he's taking a look at what people are putting on sites. Got it. And, you know, and I think I've got the access I need here now. Um, can, uh, another question here came in. Uh, can you set up a package of signs for sites? This, I think, is probably more for Larry. Um, yeah, yeah, we definitely have packages or what we call as kits. So, um, of course, all construction signs have required signage, you know, no matter what. And we definitely have set up for many sites required signage kit. So every job startup, all those signs are already put together and they could uh, be limited to a certain number of quantity or they can maybe increase the quantity. But if it's a required sign for a kit, we're most likely going to have it at one at least and then they can increase the quantity if needed. So that would, those items of course are available separately, but then mm -hmm. uh, of course we could package them or put them in a kit where they can easily be ordered all as a group. Yes, absolutely. I got it. And, you know, we just saw one come in here too. And this one, I think would be back to Cali here. Are, are your regional big D construction offices, are they using the digital storefront as well? I know of a couple other ones that are. Um, some of the signage is office specific. Um, so that is a situation where they would be custom to whatever office you're requesting from. Okay, got it. Very good. And uh, we've got another one here that, that came in through the chat. Um, how do folks in a field access the storefront site? I think this would be a good question for Larry here. The, approve the orders that are placed, um, field folks, before they are released and printed. Yes, absolutely. They're, uh, like I said, our, our production team will receive an order, but they'll see that it is pending approval. So they will not do anything until the approver has approved it. And if the approver doesn't approve it after a day, we'll contact them to let them know it. there's uh, some jobs that are pending approval that may need to be looked at. You can also set, uh, set more than one person or as many people as you want to be approvers. And as soon as the one person fulfills that, uh, that request, it's, it's, it disappears for all the other users. And you can also line item approve or decline. So say there's 10 items ordered, you, two of them, you don't want them to order for whatever reason, you can reject those two and the other eight go through. Okay, got it. Very good. Okay, and I think we've got time for maybe one more here. Uh, and Larry, this, this one I think is probably a little bit more in your wheelhouse. What, what kind of reporting is available in the digital storefront? We definitely can do, like I said, the order report. That's the most popular one. The order report will show the accounting codes that the team uh, that the user has used. It will show the user. It'll show the delivery. It'll show when they ordered it, when it was received, and it or what status it's at. You can also run queries or reports on the products ordered. So say you mandate everyone order a product, you send an email to them, you can see, check very easily in less than 30 seconds, get an Excel file spreadsheet of who ordered that and, and if they ordered what you mandated that they order. Uh, we can also do customized reports. If our reports that we already have don't satisfy that request, we can definitely customize them to meet the needs. Got of it. That's, that's helpful. Thanks. And uh, we're going to try and squeeze one last one in here. This is from Frank here. Um, this one's for, for Callie. Uh, how do you handle custom signs that aren't really listed in your storefront? Uh, if somebody at like a job site needed something very specific? Sure. A lot of times they'll reach out to me and I direct them to our ARC contact, Harry. Um, and then he helps them a lot of what we do custom wise um, site fencing or um, fence signage, sorry. Um, and then really anything else that the owner asks for if we have a project specific sign. So 
Very good. Very good. Okay. Well, I think we're at a point, uh, you know, as we close, I, I want to thank our panelists for, for sharing their time and expertise. Uh, we'll we'll kind of wind this down. Uh, we're, we're just about five minutes over here. Uh, I want to thank everyone for joining us, our attendees here. And uh, we're going to be sending a recording of this webinar out later this week, which you're welcome to share with your teams. Um, and if you do have any questions uh, around digital storefronts, uh, certainly reach out to your ARC representative. Um, uh, thank you, everyone, for, for joining us today and, and have a great day.